Welcome to Majitudes. In this quick tutorial, we are going to have a look at how to make rounded corners in Adobe Illustrator. First of all, we are going to have a look at how to add rounded corners to an image, and then we are also going to discuss how to add rounded corners to text. Let's dive right into it. To add rounded corners to an image, here's how we do it. First of all, import your image into your Adobe Illustrator project. You can either do that by drag and dropping your image directly into your project here, or you can also click here on file in the main menu and then click on place here, and then just simply locate your image on your computer and then import it. Another way would also be to open up a new Illustrator file by simply clicking on file here and then open, and then you would also have the ability to choose your image on your computer. And like that, you could easily open up a new Illustrator file and in that way, your image would directly be imported into your project. Once you have your image in your Illustrator project, first of all, make sure to select the Rectangle tool. You can either select it directly here in your toolbar, or you can simply press M on your keyboard to equip it. Once equipped, draw a rectangle over your image. The fill of this rectangle doesn't matter, so it doesn't matter whether it's black or white or something else. Because we are just going to use this as a clipping mask. Once you have placed your rectangle over your image, make sure to select the Direct Selection tool. Either click on it here in the toolbar or press A on your keyboard to equip it. Once the Direct Selection tool is equipped, left click on your mouse and then drag over both your image and the clipping mask and then let go. Now have a look for these white circles here in the corner of the rectangle. These are the so-called live corner widgets. Now to add rounded corners to our image, we first have to add rounded corners to our rectangle here. And you can do that by simply clicking and dragging on one of these live corner widgets and you will then immediately see the rounded corners appearing. The more you drag, the more rounded the corners will be. Adjust this to your liking, and once you're satisfied, let go. Now, the last step for us to take to get these rounded corners on our actual image, rather than just on our rectangle, is to left click and then drag over both our image and our rectangle, and then press Command and 7 on your keyboard if you are on a Mac, and if you are on a PC, you would have to press Ctrl and 7 instead. And once we have done that, we will then see that we have now successfully added rounded corners to our image. Now, you can obviously also adjust these rounded corners, and you can do so by first making sure that the selection tool is equipped, you can either do that by clicking on it here directly in the toolbar or by pressing V on your keyboard. Then if you can't see the live corner widgets, you might need to press Command on your keyboard if you are on a Mac or Control if you are on a PC to make the live corner widgets appear again. And then to adjust the corners, simply double click on one of these live corner widgets and the corners window will appear. There you can easily adjust the radius of your corners, you can even change the corner style. So for example, instead of rounded corners, you could choose something like this or this. And you can also adjust the rounding. Once you are satisfied with the results, simply click on OK. And that's it guys, this is how you add rounded corners to an image. Now in the second part of this video, we are going to have a look at how to add rounded corners to text. The process here is a little bit different, however not much. Let's dive right into it. First of all, to add text to your design, select the type tool here in your toolbar or simply press T on your keyboard. Once we have done that, left click on your canvas and drag to create a text box. Then adjust your text. In this case, I'm just going to write one simple letter. I'm going with the letter N and I'm also going to change the size for that maybe to 200 so that you can see a little bit better. Then click somewhere outside of your canvas so that our letter here is not highlighted anymore. And after that, press V on your keyboard to equip the selection tool. Once the selection tool is equipped, click on your text again 
and you will then see that our text box here is far bigger than just our letter N. And this is actually going to cause trouble when we want to add rounded corners to our text. In order to solve that problem, what we need to do is to create an outline to our text. And we can easily do that by selecting type here in the main menu and then click on create outlines. And you can then see that our text box is now adjusted. Now that we have created this outline around our text, we can very easily round the corners of our text and to do so now, simply make sure that your text is selected and then press and hold command on your keyboard if you're on a Mac or control if you're on a PC in order to see the live corner widgets appearing. Again, the live corner widgets are those small white circles. Now while still pressing command or control on your keyboard to round the corners, simply click on one of these live corner widgets and then drag with your mouse and as you can see, like this, you can easily round the corners of your text. To adjust the rounded corners while still pressing and holding Command or Control on your keyboard, you can double click on one of these so-called live corner widgets and you can then again adjust the corner style, the radius and the rounding. And once you have adjusted these settings, simply click on OK. I hope you did indeed enjoy this video. If you did, I would be most grateful if you could subscribe to my channel and in that case, please don't forget to hit the notification bell. Have a great day guys, bye!